Welcome back viewers. Thank you for joining me today as we learn about installing .NET Core 3.1 on Fedora 32. I have recently switched to running Fedora and I need to get the tools that I typically use installed. I was surprised to find out that .NET Core now ships in the Fedora repositories. This means it's a first class citizen. It's going to be supported and maintained. Let's perform a quick search using DNF, the Fedora package manager, to find what the package is called or which packages are available for .NET Core. We'll do that by typing sudo dnf search .NET star. So we're going to find all packages that start with .NET. And this is going to bring back a list of several packages. Many of these packages are for specific scenarios or are a subset of the things that you need. Um, the package that we're going to focus on is this meta package here called .NET, right? And then the architecture we're running on, which is x86-64. But this will install all the .NET core packages that are needed to have a working installation. Now, I'm going to turn off the telemetry. So this is something Microsoft has started collecting and th there's understandably, there's lots of reasons why they do that. However, I'm going to show you how to opt out of that. Now you can opt out at this of this at any time uh, after you install, but if you don't do it before you run the installation, then potentially they could collect that information. I'm not saying that the Fedora package runs the telemetry, so I don't know how much that follows upstream, but this is always a good practice in my mind. So we can do that by exporting out an environment variable. And so it's the .NET CLI telemetry opt-out. You set that equal to one. And we, we've done this now. So in this terminal session, no telemetry will be sent. Uh, if you wanted to make this permanent, then what we could do is we could echo this out to our bash RC or to our dot profile. And if we do this to our dot profile, then the next time we log into our system, this will automatically be exported and no telemetry will be tracked at all. So you don't have to remember to toggle this every time. This is totally your choice, but something that, that I make a habit of doing lately. Um, so now with this out of the way, let's clear our terminal and we can just do a sudo DNF install minus y dot net. This is going to check the repos. I've already done an update. If you hadn't, then it will pull fresh resources and then it's going to start running the install. And you can see here that's pulling down pretty much all the packages that were listed. Shows here what got installed. Since we did the SDK, we got the .NET standard targeting pack and the SPD core uh, runtime. And so now we should have working .NET on Fedora 32. So to test that out, we'll just go in my code director here and we'll run .NET um, new console minus O. And we'll just put this into a uh, .NET test folder. And there you go. So now if we CD into our .NET test folder, and we do a .NET run, we should see hello world printed here. And we do. So now we have a .NET, um, I think they put the commands, it's a dash dash version. See here, we got 3.1.103 installed. Um, and that's it. So um, now we have a working .NET Core 3.1 installation. If you have any questions or any feedback or comments, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Um, check the description for links to my blog um, and any blog posts that I'm going to do around this topic. And if you have any feedback, please leave a comment.